Do you remember what you wanted to be when you grew up? Well, we may not be what we set out to accomplish when we were 15, but that is how old one local photographer was when he began his career behind the lens. Photographer Bill Pay is joining us in the studio along with Siouxland Library's librarian Amber Fick. They're here to tell us more about where you can get a glimpse of Bill's work and hear what inspired him to get started capturing thousands of memories. What a pleasure it is to see you, Bill. I enjoy being here. Wow. So uh, your name is everywhere. I mean, if you go to a restaurant <laughs> in town and you see an older photo, if you look in the corner, you will see your name, Bill Pay. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> You're like the historian of Sioux Falls. Well, it's, it's been enjoyable. And uh, it's uh, watching the progress of the uh, right. city. Yeah. And having a record of what it used to be. At thousands of pictures, you've said. Thousands. Well, uh, without question. And, and what I didn't realize, I just sort of figured you did this as a hobby. I knew you had it as a business. But every one of the photos that you've taken, somebody hired you to, to take these photos. Well, with the exception of maybe three. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And, and you were how old? 15. Well, I started working for a a uh, portrait photographer mm -hmm. when I was 15 as an errand boy, but I had the knowledge of photography okay. and I went out on jobs with him and then he uh, had confidence in me, so he sent me out on the pictures. And, you, your, uh, your medium is black and white out of choice? or well, that's, that's just all you, That was the vast selection at that time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this photo here is of the Cataract uh, Hotel, correct? Yes, which uh -huh. is no longer standing at uh, Wells Fargo banks are now at Ninth and Phillips. Yeah, so what you, because one of the questions is, you say whenever our new business started, they'd say, Bill, come and take a picture of my business. I want to tell people, well, this is an old hotel, even when you took this photo in, in 1957. Yeah. Why did you take this photo? Then? Well, I was hired by the Northwestern Bell Telephone Company to take pictures of this cataract hotel and also the Carpenter Hotel, which building still stands, because they had recently installed new telephone service <laughs> in both hotels when they wanted a picture of what, what they did. Brand Where, new phones yeah. in the hotel. And look at the cars. Now, people say, look at the old cars, but as you rightly say, oh, no, those are, those are brand new. Brand new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, they like looking at the wearing apparel that people have yes. in the cars. That, that's a big draw. And you said... Of 1957, is that yes. correct? Okay. A July day. Right. I can't tell you what time. <laughs> Middle of the afternoon, it looks like. So when you bring your equipment, how big is your equipment back in the day? Well, you used a speed graphic camera that was uh, generally accepted as the camera to use for yeah. news photographers and commercial photographers. Okay. And it was heavy. Uh, you would put the film in the camera with two sheets of film at a time. Okay. You only could take two pictures without changing the holder that you put in the camera. And uh, that, uh, uh, it was cumbersome, but that was that was the game. About as big as, a, what, a toaster maybe? Bigger yeah, than that? Yeah, okay. yeah, about right. like that. Okay. Uh, I still have one. Yeah, <laughs> I bet you Working do. Working order. Yeah, but you... not the one I took the pictures, I wore those out. And, and how many pictures would you take when you were out on assignment usually? Oh, three or four. Huh. Uh, now with the digital, they take 100. I know. Well, you take a three or four, you got it figured out if you got the right one or wow. not. Otherwise, you better go home. Wow. <laughs> and you took, I want to say, pictures of pretty much every building in town. Well, at that time, yeah. in the 1950s, I didn't miss many. Yeah. So yeah. We, have a, we have a selection of some of the uh, photos you've taken. Oh, great. Okay, perfect. So let's start with the one on our left with the white building in the front. Tell me about that building. Well, that that's 9th and uh, or excuse me, Phillips Avenue and 10th Street okay. on the northwest corner. That was Newberry's Dime Store. And then the next building along to the right is Woolworth's. And uh, and who hired you? For, did, did the Dime Store hire you, or who hired you to take that picture? Chamber of Commerce. Chamber of because Commerce. Because their office is in that tall building. Right. So how big Sioux Falls is growing. Come to Sioux Falls. Yeah. Wow. Okay, and, and off to the, the second picture, what is that? Well, that was the Sioux Falls Brewing and Malting Company. Ha! I thought on, it was a church. <laughs> well, up on North uh, Main Avenue. Okay. And it uh, was, had a fire. After the brewery, it went to the foremost dairy. Yeah. And uh, then uh, they went out of there, and they had a fire in there, and they tore the building down. Speaking of fire, you must have had a picture of the Queen City. Uh, uh, Queen Bee Mill. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of them I wasn't hired to take. I just happened to be there. Wow. 
did that free. <laughs> was, that, was that when the fire was happening? Right there, wow. January. I've really cold. I have seen that picture. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How did you hear about that? You just were driving by? Well, a friend of mine had an ambulance service. Okay. And he said, Bill, if you want to see a fire, get downtown, get down on North Weber right. Avenue. Queen Bee Mills ablaze. Okay. And uh, that's how I happened to get on that. So here's the thing. I want to talk to you forever, but I can't. So I want to just to quickly say, of the pictures you see, which one do you like? We'll talk about one more picture, and you're going to tell me what that one is. All right. The one on the left was taken in 1954. Okay. It's an aerial view of, uh, well, Shoneman's Lumber is directly in the center. I now see it. Okay. There's a CNA building there. Sure. Okay. And a hotel. And the one same size picture to the right is exactly the same view wow. 50 years later. Amber, was this your genius idea to bring Bill in? I think it was one of our other library staff who thought that having Bill come in and show off his photographs and talk about the history of Sioux Falls would just make a great program. Yeah, at the really library. great. And tell me yeah. where it's going to be now. It'll be next Wednesday night from 7 to 8 p.m. at the Cayley Branch Library. That's the one out by the Empire Mall. Wow. So uh, it's between 7 and 8. Mm -hmm. I'm, there's going to be a crowd of people, I would think. I right? hope so. Can yeah, I take for pictures sure. of the pictures? Will you be there, Bill? Oh, you bet I'm oh, going to be there. Oh, God bless America. <laughs> what a great deal to do. Take the kids and get them a little bit of history. So perfect. Make sure you get out there. And what a delight to have you on the show here today. Thank you, Bill.